Yes, okay, this is all great. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about my favorite memory leak because I think that we as C++ developers, we can feel envy towards our C programming colleagues who get to experience the joy of hunting down memory leaks in their day-to-day -day job. It's, it's part of how things work. And for them to get a memory leak is very easy. They don't call free. That's it. But we don't call free or delete. And we still don't get memory leaks because we don't call new. And just getting memory leaks without calling free, that's easy. But getting memory leaks without calling new, that requires some finesse. So I want to show you my favorite memory leak. Here it is. Isn't that a beauty? This is art. So what we have here is the magic part is this destruct V. The, the, this is good. V is a vector of Vs. Uh, so th this is a this is really useful structure. This is a v is a node in a tree with an arbitrary number of children. So v is a node itself, and v dot begin to v dot end is all the children of v. So I don't know if you're familiar with how how vector works, but a, a, a typical implementation of vector is like this. We have an instance of vector v there, there to the left. It has three pointers. Begin points to the start of a, a memory area which contains some data. Uh, end store points to p past the end of that memory area. And end points to one past the last element. It doesn't have to be implemented that way, but it is a very, very common implementation. So here we have a vector v that has space for eight elements, but it actually has only three. So let's create another one, v2. You, you get the you get the idea. Here we have five elements and room for eight. This is good. Swapping two vectors is an amazing operation. So all you do is swap, swap. We don't touch the elements. We just swap the pointers. So swap, swap, swap. I mean, this, this is cool. We can do this all day. Swap, swap, <laughs> swap. This is cool. So. Let's go through the memory leaks. So we have our, our main here. We, we create a V. The, this is the empty vector to, to the left. The, these uh, pointers, the empty things, that, they are null. They don't point to anything. Therefore, the vector is empty. And then we do in place back. So now we create one child to V. And it, in its turn, has no children. So the, the pointers are null. And now we do swap. You remember what we do when we do swap? We just exchange the, the pointers. So we get this. So now V is empty. And I believe that is called a self-own. Uh, and V goes out of scope. And we have an orphaned element there. We have leaked memory without calling new. And I think this is a piece of art. This is something that you can impress your colleagues with. You can write code to leak memory without calling new in a way that passes all code reviews. This is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you.